friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss a concept in time, speed and distance. Without any further ado, let's get into the concept. Let us learn what happens when distance is constant between two people. We have two people in front of a screen, A and B. They are traveling at a speed of 15 meters per second and 10 meters per second respectively. They are covering a distance of 300 meters. So the time taken by them is nothing but time taken by A is 300 by 15, 20 seconds. Similarly, time taken by B is nothing but 300 by 10, which is 30 seconds. D know the speed of A and B. So let us find the ratio of speed of A and B. Speed of A, speed of A by speed of B is nothing but 15 by 10. If I further simplify it, it becomes 3 by 2. Similarly, the time taken by A by time taken by B is nothing but it is actually 20 by 30. If we further simplify it, it becomes 2 by 3. So, when distance is constant between two people, speed of A by speed of B is equal to time taken by B by time taken by A. So, the ratio is nothing but 3 by 2. I hope this is clear. Let us get into the next concept. Now let us learn what happens when time is constant between two people. Let us take the previous example. Let us take the same people A and B. They are traveling at a speed of 15 meters per second and 10 meters per second respectively. They are traveling for a duration of 20 seconds. So the distance covered by them Distance covered by A is nothing but 15 into 20, which is 300 meters. Similarly, distance covered by B is nothing but 10 into 20, which is 200 meters. Now, let us find the ratio of the speeds of A and B. So, speed of A by speed of B is nothing but 15 by 10. If I further simplify it, it becomes 3 by 2. Similarly, let us find the ratio of the distance covered by both of them. So, distance traveled by A by distance traveled by B, which is nothing but 300 by 200. If I further simplify it, it becomes 3 by 2. So, when time is constant between two people, between two people, the ratio of speed of A and B is equal to the distance traveled by A by distance traveled by B. So, when distance is constant, speed of A by speed of B is inversely proportional to the time taken. So, it becomes what? Time taken by B by time taken by A. When time is constant, speed of A by speed of B is nothing but the distance traveled by A by distance traveled by B. When time is constant, it is directly proportional to the distance traveled by them. So it is D by D A by D B. I hope this is clear. So by using this concept, let us solve some examples. So let me read the question for you. By walking at 4 by 5 of his usual speed, a man reaches 10 minutes later than usual. What is his usual time? So now let us take this man's usual speed as yes and the time taken by him to usually cover his distance as t.
let me repeat it again let me take the speed of a man as s let me take the distance that he usually cover as d and let me take the time as t okay so if he walks at his usual speed he would reach the destination at time t but if he walks at a speed of 4 by 5 of his usual speed he takes 10 minutes more to cover the same distance so it is nothing but t plus 10 so in this sum what is constant in this sum the distance traveled by the man is constant so the distance is constant we know that when distance is constant speed is inversely proportional to the time taken so we can take speed of a by speed of b is equal to time taken by b by time taken by a so if i apply this formula into this example i can say when he walks at his usual speed he takes when he walks at his usual speed he takes t time to reach the destination when he walks at a speed of 4 by 5 of his usual speed he takes 10 minutes more to cover so how can i write this in the formula i can say s by 4 by 5 of s is equal to t plus 10 by t why because we know that when distance is constant the time taken is inversely proportional to their speeds so i can cancel s from both the sides then it becomes t is equal to five t is equal to t plus ten into four. So five t is equal to forty plus forty t is equal to forty minutes. So the usual time is forty minutes. I hope this example is clear. So thank you so much friends for watching this video.